Hello everybody, this is the first in our series of You Can Talk Vintage Style and today we have my good friend Ryan with me and he is a vintage ukulele collector and we're going to have some really cool ukes that we'll be presenting over the next uh, six to eight months. Uh, we'll try to do a video uh, at least once a month, maybe we'll be lucky and get two a month done, but um, we're first going to talk about uh, a really cool ukulele that Ryan picked up and it's a Lion and Healy. So Ryan, why don't you uh, tell everybody about this beauty that you got? All right, thanks, Jay. So this is uh, about 1925 to 1927 Lion and Healy. This was one of the Chicago builders. Most uh, vintage ukes, uh, other than Martin, were being made in Chicago. And so Lion and Healy made this ukulele. They shut down all stringed instrument building by 1928, and they are still in business. They make full-size harps now and they've always been in business but this ukulele is quite special because it is a tenor you don't often find vintage tenors other than martin so uh this is quite a special ukulele and i i really haven't seen many like it now now the one on this when i first saw it i thought um was really hard for me to identify and i really haven't seen a whole lot of uh, wood out there like this on vintage vintage instruments can you tell us what yeah, this is yeah this is uh this is monkey pod and monkey pod uh, wasn't commonly used by anyone except for Lion and Healy. And they often used it on their camp ukes, if you know, uh, they have, it's like a circular ukulele. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one's monkey pod. And I believe they made some really rare ones also in Koa. But this one is, uh, it's pretty unique. The finish survives pretty well, um, but not spectacular. I don't know much of the history of this uke. Now, do you know if Lion and Healy, did they make soprano ukuleles in Monkey Pod? Um, I believe that they did, but the Monkey Pod that they made was their lower end uke, um, which was went by the name of Mauna Loa. So okay. they weren't identified as Lion and Healy at all. Now, now the one thing I noticed uh, was the sound hole. There was something I don't usually see on ukuleles. Can you talk a little bit about what's there yeah, and, and the purpose thanks. of any? I don't know if people can see on the camera, I'll kind of put it this way. There is a sound hole ring and it is raised above the soundboard of the ukulele and it is black celluloid. And it was just one of their things they did and it matches the black celluloid binding on the rest of the ukulele. And then what I love is the black celluloid heel cap, which people can uh, see which survives oftentimes a lion and healy this doesn't survive the sound hole ring because celluloid is a pretty fragile material usually shrinks and falls apart if you hit it it'll fall apart now the fretboard i mean it's immaculate on this thing it looks i mean like nobody's ever put their fingers on it yeah did you do anything when you got it to clean it sure. up and uh, I did. What I did mean, you do I clean all my <clears throat> instruments. Some people really love patina and they love old dirt. Mm -hmm. And I find no value whatsoever in old dirt. Uh, other new dirt's okay. New dirt that I put on <laughs> is good. Um, it's Brazilian rosewood and I clean it. And I have a special way that different things I clean and I clean the frets. Um, but it came, came out beautifully. I don't think this uke was played that much, but the condition of the... Uh, of the finish shows that it was banged around a lot, but I don't think it was played that much because it doesn't show, um, oh, there goes our light, our, uh, doesn't show much play wear. Now, was there any repair, uh, any repairs done on this ukulele at all? None, none. And, and I noticed the, the saddle on this is um, a little interesting. I noticed you have a couple beads for the strings. Yeah, place. this, uh, the bridge has, has come apart uh, it's lost a little wood. Um, maybe people can see in the camera a little bit. And we'll do some close-ups okay. uh, after the video. Um, so take a look at the video as we continue on. I'll post some, some pictures so you can see some close-ups of what we've been talking about. So um, what I have come up with the solution is um, very, very small beads. And it's a pretty reasonable solution to just so that the bridge can grip that. I don't want to change the bridge. This is called a smile bridge, which was really, it was the shape that Lion and Healy used. And- uh, What kind of saddle is in there? Is that a wood saddle or a- Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's an, a rosewood or, or probably ebony because it's darker than the rosewood. So I think it's ebony. Great. And what was the year on this again? Um, between about 1925 and 1927. Great, well let's, let's hear what this thing sounds like and then uh, 
we'll uh, continue on to our next You Can Talk uh, video. and a nice full sound. Great, so the Lion and, Hul uh, Lion and Healy ukulele. Uh, hope you guys liked the video, and we have many more to come, so stay tuned. Thanks a lot.